busy 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 day uh we got a lot of videos to drop a lot that have been done already and a lot to do uh so y'all make sure y'all keep them notifications turned on because ravens have been very busy we have been very busy and the, the two just sort of go hand in hand anyway youtube team keep it clean Le'Veon bell was once a practice squad call up was twice a practice squad call up. So the Ravens were faced with having to make a decision. All right, either Le'Veon Bell, if we want to keep him on a practice squad, then we got to release him. And hopefully, if you love something and you let it go, if it's meant to be, then it'll come back. And Le'Veon or the Ravens would have no control over that. Because if he was released from the Ravens practice squad, then anybody would have a chance to put in a claim for Le'Veon Bell. And if somebody claimed him off waivers, he go to that team. But Raven said, we actually value Le'Veon Bell. And it's crazy that this guy who once just used to go to war with the Ravens and against the Ravens, he's now officially, officially, like, I mean, he was pretty much official before when he signed a contract, even though he was on the practice squad. But now he's officially, officially a Raven, and he is officially, officially on the active roster and that's a uh, a big move for him but now what do the ravens do because the ravens are faced with a little bit of a dilemma now with latavius murray being hurt that kind of makes it a little simpler and depending on the severity of his injury because to me when he went down it looked like just it was like a cramp to me but i'm no doctor so i don't know i can't call it but when Latavius Murray gets healthy, and or if he's healthy already, but when Latavius Murray is ready to be back in action, what are the Ravens going to do at running back? Because I just, I can't see them keeping all four. I can't. Now, you did just get a roster spot uh, that opened up with Ronnie Stanley. That's free roster spot now. But you, you, when you think about it, you got guys like Nick Boyle. You got guys like Derek Wolf. You got guys like um, Chris Westry. You got some guys that are, are coming back. So Ben Cleveland's another one. So what are you going to do at running back? Because you're not keeping four. Or are you? Would you be willing to keep four? But right now you got to think with them just promoting Le'Veon Bell to the active roster. They value him, especially as a blocker, especially as a blocker. Now, Latavius Murray, they obviously value him because they, as soon as they got him, they used him from jump. And he is a uh, very effective in short yardage, that straight up north-south runner. Devontae Freeman, sorry, something went in my eye. Devontae Freeman, you got to feel like his value has been increasing uh, over the past couple of weeks, um, especially like last week when he was active over uh, uh, Tyson Williams. And then this week, he was active uh, on the roster, but also active on the field. And he, he was getting it. So his value got to be going up. Now, I said it last week that um, Tyson Williams, I think he's going to be traded. Uh, and I know there's some people that feel like that's the case. Some people feel like it's not the case. One of my guys just hit me up uh, yesterday. And he was saying that he just feels like Tyson Williams is sort of just soaking everything in right now. And they're preparing him for the long run of the season. I just, I don't see it. I really don't. I think he is going to be the odd man out. Like I said, especially with them getting all those other guys back in the future. They're going to need some roster spots because they're at like either 52 or 53 men on the roster right now. Uh, so it's, it's getting tight because there was one point where they were like 48 during the regular season and they were like 51 and they, they never had a four fifty three man roster and they still haven't. Oh, and then they just added, what's the name to the active roster? Uh, Brandon Knight from the Cowboys. Cause when you claim somebody off waivers, they don't go to practice squad. They go straight to the active roster. So that's another roster spot that's taken. So look at that. Like the roster is, is, is getting a little crowded in here. A little crowded. So I feel like Tyson Williams' time uh, could soon be coming to an end. I don't want it to, but just by the looks of things, like we said earlier, actions, they, they speak a whole lot louder 
uh, than any words can. So by the, the, the way that they have been, well, actually the lack, the lack of usage uh, of Tyson Williams, you got to think that he's going to be out the door soon. And especially when Devontae Freeman, he's clearly getting more and more comfortable, uh, especially with that match point. There were some times before in games at the past where that thing was ugly. When Lamar would put it in his gut and then Lamar would either pull it back or let him keep it, 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 got, uh, it was ugly. But again, he wasn't used to it. He wasn't used to it. Le'Veon Bell ain't been here for long. Devontae Freeman ain't been here for long. Latavius Murray ain't been here for long. But the more and more comfortable that they get, and the more and more Tyson Williams sits after week after week after week, you got to feel like he's going to be out. So Ravens, they, they have some decisions to make. And it's crazy that as, as a GM... Your job is never done. Uh, you never have time off. You don't have any time off. Because, yeah, you could be like, you can get through the preseason and all that. And then before week one, where well, you got to make that 50, that 53-man that roster. Because we know, like, it's not just, it's not, that roster is not finalized. But when you got to make that 53 final man roster, that's just the beginning. That's the very beginning. Because you flipping guys, you got this guy, that guy coming on and off the practice squad. You got this guy that you're signing. You may do a trade here, trade there. You, you just got so much. And we, we're only going into week seven. And the Ravens have, I mean, not just the Ravens, really every single team, they've been flip-flopping and just guys in and out, cut, trade, wave, release, sign, whatever. So that's, the, uh, that's life in the NFL, though. But anyway, team, keep it clean. Shout out to Le'Veon Bell. Uh, we're looking forward to just seeing his development as a Raven. So weird, so weird. Um, and, and along with the other running backs, too. So we'll see what these boys do. Again, decisions, decisions. I am not jealous of Eric DaCosta and John Harbaugh and all. I'm not jealous of them one bit. Um, it'd be nice to get the salary there again. But besides that, I ain't, I ain't jealous of them. Uh, but anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And like I feel like one of the running backs will be very, very soon, I'm out.